Hello. This lesson is for fourth and fifth graders for February 21st. And um, <clears throat> it is the story of Noah. We're starting um, a new um, Bible story today. So you should have um, a sheet of paper your Bible that says knowing, knowing Noah, and you should have a pencil and your Bible. All right. Well, so today we're going to learn about the story of Noah's Ark, which I'm sure many of you already know about that story. There are a lot of animals that ended up on the Ark. So what's one thing that you know about taking care of animals? Right, you have to give them food and water, right? You have to um, give them shelter. You have to take them to the vet to take care of them. Um, if they live in a cage, you got to clean their little cages. If you have a dog, you have to let them go outside to go to the bathroom. Cats, you have to help clean their litter boxes. So what animal would you like to share a room with? If you had to share a room with an animal, what animal would it be? I would probably say, since we have cats, I would say a cat. Which one wouldn't you want to have in your room? Which animal would you not want to share a room with? Animal or insect or whatever. I would say a tarantula. I would not want to share a room with a big, hairy spider. Yuck, not that. So in our Bible story today, God used Noah and his family to make the world better. And the story says Noah was the only one left who hadn't forgotten God. So how do you think that made Noah feel? Probably pretty good, right? That God chose to take him and his family to save him and his family. So, <clears throat> I would like us, um, well, actually, all of you right now, what you're going to do is um, we're going to read the story, but I guess we're going to read. Um, the Bible story. I am not going to read the entire story with you right now because um, it's fa it's fairly, it's a couple chapters that I'm going to have you read in your Bibles. But um, I'm just going to kind of share a couple points with you first before you read it. So it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, but the water then didn't go away immediately because how could it if it rained that much for that long? Um, and Noah and his family and the animals, so they actually were in the ark for about 150 days. So five months they were in that ark. So just imagine how that would have been like to live in an overcrowded barn, pretty much, for almost half a year. And then at the end of the story... It says, I will remember. I will remember. And God sent a rainbow to serve as that reminder. So God used Noah and his family to make the world better. And when you read this story, remember that God will also use you to make the world better. And you might even want to write that in your Bible next to that story that it's helping us remember that God uses us, too, to make the world a better place, right? Because if we show our love to others the way God shows love to us, if we help maybe the hungry and the poor, we're making the world a better place. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video now, and I want you to take your Knowing Noah sheet, and then you are going to read, okay, um, in Genesis, so that's the first chapter of the Bible, the first, I mean, first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 7, 8, and 9. 
okay? Because that's the story of Noah. So you will read 7, 8, and 9. And then on your Knowing Noah sheet, there are a bunch of um, verses to try to find. So, um... So kind of how we're going to do this, it's like a Bible search game, okay? So you're going to see if you can find these Bible verses and then fill in the blanks on the sheet. So some of them are pretty tricky, and, and it's not necessarily in order the way it's listed. But you'll be able to find them somewhere in chapter 7, 8, and 9. You'll be able to find these verses. If you can't find an answer after trying real hard, that's okay. That's okay. Then what, um, so what, and then I'm going to share the answers with you so you know right now, but, um, but don't listen to the answers first. I want you to try it, okay, on your own. So why don't you pause the video, try to find these Bible verses, and then put the verse in there, the chapter and the verse, and then fill in the blank to the sentence, and then you can see how many you got right. Okay, so pause the video now. All right, welcome back. I hope you were able to find a lot of that stuff. Um, so let's go through it and I'll let you know what the correct answers are. See if you um, were able to find them. Remember, if you didn't find them all, that's okay. I'm gonna help you out. So number one is Genesis 9. So chapter 9, verse 29. And it says, Noah died at the ripe old age of 950. So Noah was 950 years old. Woo! Number two is Genesis chapter 7, verse 4. And God said it would rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Chapter, question three, Genesis chapter, yeah, Gen yeah, Genesis chapter seven, verse six. Noah was 600 years old when the flood came. Crazy. Okay, chapter, or <clears throat> question four is Genesis chapter seven, verse 24. The earth was covered with water for 150 days. Number five, Genesis chapter seven, verse four. The ark landed at the top of Mount Ariat. Question six, Genesis chapter eight, verse 29. The first thing Noah did after letting the animals out of the ark was to build an altar. Question seven, Genesis chapter nine, verse 13. The highlighted verse says the bow, rainbow, is a sign of the covenant between me, which is God, and the earth. Question eight. Genesis chapter 9, verse 16. I will see it and remember God says this. Question 9. is Genesis chapter 9, verse 28. Noah lived 350 years after the whole ark incident. Huh. Chapter 10. Genesis, I mean chapter 10. Question 10. Genesis chapter 7, verse 11. On the second month, on the 17th day, the rain started. Question 11. Genesis chapter 7, verse 20. The water over the mountains was 15 cubics deep. 12. Question 12. Genesis 6, verse 21. Besides animals, birds, bugs, and other living creatures, God told Noah to bring every kind of food into the ark. 13, chapter 13, or question 13. So Genesis chapter 8, verse 11. The bird that came back to the ark 
had an olive leaf in its beak. Chapter 14, or question 14, Genesis chapter 8, verse 6. The first bird Noah sent out of the ark was a raven. <coughs> and the last question, question 15, is Genesis chapter 8, verse 8. The second bird Noah sent out of the ark was a dove. All right, so how'd you do? Were you able to find a lot of those? I'd love to hear. I'd love it. Have your parents send me an email. Let me know. It'd be awesome to find out. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So I hope, I hope, I hope that um, you had fun doing it. That was pretty fun and that you learned a little bit more and that you remembered um, that God used Noah to make a better world and that he uses us to make a better world today. So have a fabulous week. I'll see you next week for sure. Bye-bye.